Oh. I didn't want to say, but that's another reason why I'm here. Because I need to see my competition in the flesh. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm in my own training camp, but it's a good time for me to learn about what else is out there. It's a business, it's a business opportunity, this. So I want to come down and see. Oh, good, good fight happening over there. I want to come down and see what my competition are doing as well. So um, as, as much as it is as to support Derek, it's as much to see how good my uh, potential mandatory challenger will be. But I think, I, well, I don't think, I know I'm built for this now. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, I think I'm just built to just train, 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 because it keeps me in a real good, uh, a real good, like, straight path. It don't, don't leave no room for distractions. So I love boxing because I can go down any path in life and boxing really helps keep me on a straight and narrow. So training has been good, it's tough, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Are you looking forward to getting back in the ring against Pulev? Yeah, definitely. And um, we're sparring, which is so fun. I've got some really good um, heavyweights in. I've had some of the younger prospects come through sparring as well. Um, David Adeyeli, really good, talented. Christian, uh, Jennings, Jose Stewart from uh, Wolverhampton. Fraser Clark, delicious. Um, Lewis, we've had some real good sparring sessions. Really got like guys coming at me, and I just love it. It's good to be back in the ring, and I can't wait to do the real thing. What about the WBC side as well? Deontay Wilder's made the comments tonight. What, what do you think of them? Technically, if we're talking about WBC, we should be talking about Tyson Fury. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But which one are we talking about? Who Wilder, yeah? yeah? Eddie sent me the tweet, right? And it makes ultimate sense. It's hard because at the time when people are talking and you're seeing a lot of like media stuff, you start to believe what that person's saying. But I think like when when time goes by and you and naturally like the truth will always reveal itself, in it. And uh, I get a lot of stick in this spot, man. I do, but I take it with a pinch of salt. And um, he just admitted it that look, we offered him a lucrative offer but he wanted to face Tyson Fury. And so be it, if that's what he wants to do, that's fine. But he dragged my name through the mud with him as well. In fairness, you never reacted. You <laughs> never reacted, did you? All the criticism you were getting, you never said anything. And now do you feel a little bit, ah, oh, there we go. There's, there's a bit of truth coming out now. You do, yeah, but you know, is I ain't gonna do this forever. And then what happens is that another prospect that's gonna come in, he's gonna deal with the same stuff I'm dealing with, the same amount of criticism I deal with, so I just got to take it on the chin at the minute because when I retire, no one will really talk about me anymore. So I can't bite all the time. It's just a period of time in my life where I've got to have a thick skin. Um, and that's part of the game and it prepares me for after boxing. It prepares me while I'm boxing. You've got to be tough mentally as well. And you know, where, while Wilder was doing what he's doing, trying to make me look like, like I was a bad person, I didn't want to enhance the sport or add to it or fight certain fighters. I just had to roll with the punches, in it? And um, he's actually come out and said it himself that, look, we offered him a really good deal, but he wanted to fight Tyson Fury so people can take it how they want and see what the truth is now.